they, if they carry on around to the other side of the pan, they will be about to find out. And yours coming to join us. This is absolutely wonderful. Most of you are familiar with yours. You know how much he loves these leopards. He is one of the landowners. I think it's safe to say that these are our noisy leopards. Good, thank you, yours. How are you? Yo, oh, they're about to find him. <laughs> I think she's just realized there's something up. Elephants, of course, have an incredibly sensitive sense of smell. Right, Mr. Quarantine, if they decide to chase you, if you could please not run straight past us, so that we find ourselves with elephants barreling in our direction as well. So far, so good. Oh, one female that's not happy. She knows there's something. She doesn't know what it is. I wonder how this situation is going to play out. They might, of course, not notice him at all. And they're not really a threat to him, nor is he a threat to them. But there is the battle of herbivore and predator that plays itself out, and elephants don't take kindly to the presence of leopards in their space, or any of the predators. <laughs> he could not be more unconcerned. And the elephants are on edge because the wind is blowing. There's one female in particular that hasn't quite found herself a comfortable spot yet to drink. I think that is because she is smelling him. The air is filled with the sound of slurping elephants. Having one very big drink. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh, here we go. He hasn't been spotted yet. There's a good chance that the first thing to spot him will be an elephant calf, just because their eyesight are their eyesight is actually better than that of an adult elephant. I've seen it with baby rhino as well. They also see better than the adults do. Oops, some pushing and shoving going on there. Hello, guys. Hello. It's all right, girlie. I didn't cause any trouble. Okay, girl. Okay. It's all right. There's a leopard here. Please don't get a surprise and blame me for it. It's okay. Oh, it's a boy. That's why he's causing nonsense. That's okay, boy. Now well, that changes things. Wesley, do I think that these elephants feel threatened? Yes, I do. They're clearly upset by something. It's not us. It might be the, that they encountered another leopard elsewhere or another predator. It might just be the wind. But either way, no, this is not a comfortable herd of elephants. And they're about to spot him. I'm surprised that they haven't yet, but he's remaining completely still. How amazing is this? What an absolutely awesome shot. Two of Africa's most iconic animals. And blue butterfrog, 
I'm saying don't elephants dislike lions more than they dislike leopards? I'm, I'm not sure that they... Oh, there's an impala as well. It's going to want to come and drink and he's going to wait until the elephants move off. And that's also going to add some interesting drama, drama to the sighting that we have here. Oh, I think the elephants are actually going to move off in a different direction. And quarantine reigns supreme for now, at least in terms of his hiding skills. He <laughs> has kept totally still and evaded the notice of the elephants. What are you looking at, little boy? That little nonsense causer wants to chase the impala, which is very silly because he's not going to get anywhere if he does that. The elephants are completely upwind. Remember how I said the wind is blowing from my, from my right? The elephants are completely upwind of quarantine and he has, they have no idea that he's been watching them this entire time. But sorry to Blue Butterfrog, I got distracted. Yes, elephants dislike lions. I'm not sure that they dislike them more than leopards. But lions are just, I think, smellier. Oh, big yawn. Was that just so boring, quarantine? Not exciting watching a whole herd of elephants come and have a drink. Lions are very smelly. They are very pungent animals, so, so much so that we notice the difference as human beings. And I think because they're so often, because they're social creatures, there's more of them around and the elephants make more of an effort to chase them away. And yes, then of course there's also the, the knowledge that a lion is probably the only predator out here that is capable of, if they put their mind to it, tackling and killing an elephant.